What's going on? Just working on the broken 84 Chevy today. Nice and bent. Just trying to get off the uh, original gas tank. It's all half hanging under there. I don't know if you can see how rusty it is. Look at that. That's not, that's just from the tank. Uh, who knows what it looks like in there. But, I want to take it down since we're making this fuel injection. We're going to put in that plastic tank out of a new truck. So we won't need that crap. And supposedly these ones are kind of dangerous where they're in the frame or something. It gets squished and it can light on fire. So, got the engine running nice. Still got to fuck with the starter. But yeah, see if we can. I just got to get the last clamp off or strap off. It just had a little, uh, I don't know if you can even see. Alrighty, Xander's just about got the tank pulled. He's cutting uh, some auxiliary hoses. Well, probably just a few hoses and stuff. Oh, there it went. Kind of smacked Xander in the face there. I don't know if you heard him. Unfortunate, but. Right in my cheek. Right in his cheek. So, not too good, but here she is. Oh, she's come. There. Where's this puncture now? Oh, and he kind of punctured it in the efforts of trying to get it out. Oh, yeah. uh, there it is. Yeah, it's kind of. It's probably just because it was thin there. Kind of weeping a bit there, but how oh, she is. Yeah. So. so you can see why these guys aren't very safe in side collisions because the thing's right between the body and the frame. So yeah. if you got smoked in the driver's side, then it might blow up. We're just with our friend Clayton yeah. here. He helped us. One more, <laughs> one more reason to swap an LS into it. Yeah, one more reason to put an LS into this son of a gun. You gotta put a new or tank a into cell, it, or yeah, a fuel cell. You can see we're going for a scrap run. No, it's just garbage we got in there. For storing it for now. It's gonna go into the Ford to the dump soon. So in the next few days. But yeah, so you we got. Show the uh, frame under there. Yeah, you can. Uh, uh, yeah, Xander, uh, Xander can show you a bit of the frame. Yep. Yeah. See why we pulled that off, so we can get at this disaster. Look at that. It's actually broken. Really, just behind this. Here. Yeah, you can see. Find where the tank was. Up there, not so bad. Hopefully, it's not this whole area too. It might be. The other side, they might get away with it, but so it's pretty bad. But see, fixing that soon. We're just gonna jerry rig it so it's not bent, and we'll show you that in a minute. So, right, Xander's doing a bit of welding or grinding, I should say, on the the frame there, so we can get a little bit of welded onto it, get it straight. You kind of see them in between there. So we'll focus on them. It's pretty dusty. See if I can see under here. See what he's doing. Just trying to get that off. Getting some crap off. Nice old gas tank strap. Just wanted to make a spot so we can put this for the time being. Hey, you can see we're just going to temporarily weld that on there so it keeps you straight. Yeah, and, uh, it doesn't break. Yeah, we don't want it to get worse than it already is. We're going to do a proper job on it. I'm sure Xander said that. And uh, yeah, we're just going to put that square square bar on the bottom so it keeps you straight. You can kind of see the hole there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You can see a bit of a hole going on there. So we're just going to weld that on. Keep her straight, keep her from breaking any more than it already has, and then uh, then she'll be good to go. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, it'll stay straight and won't break more. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling on about nothing. Where's Xander? There's Xander. <laughs> so he's all mad because he's got to weld it. I don't know. <laughs> We're just joking. Uh, so it should be okay. 
and uh, yeah, so we'll keep you updated as we go. So thanks for watching. See our approved garage working footwear flip flops. Approved by the uh, FDA as good, useful workwear. And, you know, shoes, not boots. So, you know, keep that in mind. What? Just talking about our approved working oh. footwear. Well, approved by the FDA. Approved by Hot Rod Magazine. Our, yeah, they yeah, wear flip flops. So. Favorite show, Roadkill. Yeah, Road. So. Roadkill and Hot Rod, the guys who wear flip flops and Make stuff. Make sure so. to always have flip flops when plasma cutting and welding. Yep, flip flops, open toed shoes is preferred yeah, for yeah. grinding, welding, cutting, trimming. Yeah. So, you know. That way, if there's a fire, you can get it out. Mm -hmm. You can really stomp it out and see where the hottest part of the fire is. Because Andrew's just aligning this guy up. And you can't really see because it's under the truck, and I don't want to bend over too far right now, but. When he uh, when he does some welding, I'll uh, show you guys that. So, post you in. Know when you're gonna start. So, can... all right, Xander's so welding in the bar now. So, uh, I'm gonna cover my eyes while he welds, and hopefully, all goes good. I'm good, Xander. I'm not looking. Hopefully, I'm seeing. seeing something. No, I know. Just using a Princess Auto welder, power fist welder here. Got a nice argon tank. Yeah. And uh, you know, we've done all our welding with this. It's not the best, it's not a Miller or Lincoln Tech or something, but you know, she works pretty good. So it's a good bead. You just gotta kinda work with it, finagle it a little bit, and then you can get uh, get everything going good. So yeah, Vanders is welding her up. Temporary welds. It's a little bit spackly because it's kind of a rusty spot of the frame. One sec, I'm just gonna. Yeah, those are pretty good looking welds, so if I do say so myself. Or, you know, again, like I said, it's not a. Xander's no professional welder, he's just kind of learned as he went. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's a crappy welder, so it's not, uh, it's not gonna be. Providing the best speed, wire speed, or, or whatever, so. Yeah, it works pretty good. And like the frame and the, and the uh, piece of metal aren't the best uh, prep, so it's a little spackly because of that. It's pretty rusty. So, uh, you know, we're not getting the best sort of uh, yeah, contact we, and stuff. When we weld it up properly, we're going to get the, uh, cut the rusty parts out. Yeah. Not weld back on top of them. Yeah, like I said, this is only temporary, so this is only so it doesn't break more. This is not how we're going to fix the frame. No. So we're going to fix it properly. Proper piece of metal, proper proper frame piece. piece. We're going to gusset it. We're going to, we're going to multi- have it multiple, multiply welded in different sections and you know nice thick welds. So go ahead. Yeah, this is a pretty rusty area, so it's well, kind of spackly because of that. That's probably as good as it's going to get. Yeah, you can see there's one weld there. You know, it's alright. It's not, uh, you know, it's not a, like, perfect seamless bead, but Xander's no professional welder, and we don't have professional welding tools, so we got, I would say it's pretty damn good for what it is. Oh, he didn't have the ground hooked up yeah, there. I'm going to try and make another little bit here. Just have some extra. Yeah, and 
again, it's this rusty, it's a rusty little, frame uh, and high speed to weld to that shit. Yeah, and but I don't, I don't know. Weld that piece to the muffler hanger. It's gonna help uh, too much in the strength department. But anyways, all right. So that's pretty good. Pretty good temporary fix for now. Should be good again with our Princess Auto welder and uh, not professional welder Xander. But you know, it's all good. I think that looks pretty good. Let me get. Yeah, that looks pretty good, and you can see the frame there. He did grind it down a little bit, but, you know, it's temporary. It's only temporary, so, so don't be mean. <laughs> don't be mean. Well, yeah, it looks good. I think it looks great. I think those are really nice, nice beads. That should work good. Nice beads. So, yeah, that should be good for now. should keep her straight. Or, see through the crack. Not straight, but, uh... Should keep her from bending more and then becoming two pieces of trucks. Yeah, we don't want to so, actually bend it. No, we don't and want we, to make it worse. We don't have a tow truck, so we can't lift it. Yeah, we don't have a hoist or anything, so nothing. Our truck doesn't have a wheel lift. It would be nice if we had one, but nope. So yeah, so I'll let you know as it goes. Oh yeah, uh, I'll show you the other side of the framework they did. Uh, the previous owner did a nice fix of the bed mount. It's kind of tight here. Yeah. Working in a small backyard here, so uh, one second. Get down. Ooh. All right. It's hard to see, but you can see three hockey pucks stacked up top to keep the the bed from. Uh, you can kind of see it wiggle there. Maybe. Not really. But yeah, that's uh, that's to keep it straight. That's our uh, temporary, previous owner's temporary bed fix there. So we're going to try to get rid of all that. And you can see the frame's pretty good everywhere else. So you can see the uh, plate you put in there. Uh, that wasn't us again, but you can see the rot there too. So we're going to pull it out, like cut out a piece to where it's good. And then weld her back in and uh, yeah, should be good. So... We're going to definitely keep you updated on this, and uh, yeah, so, alright, we'll keep you posted more.